Hey, are you a business owner, entrepreneur, or professional? If so, we want you to apply to be a featured guest on our show. My name is Adam Torres, and I host the Mission Matters series of podcasts. I've recorded over 3,000 episodes, and we are just getting started. How do you know if you'd be a good guest to be on the show? Well, only one way to find out, and that's to apply, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We want guests that have a story to tell, guests with a brand, a product, or a service that can benefit my audience of listeners. If this sounds like you, go to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. I'd love to talk to you and get to know more about your story. Again, head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, now let's get into the show. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Paolo Fidanza on the line, and he is CEO and co-founder over at Mo Technologies. Paolo, welcome to the show. Hi, Adam. Thank you so much for the invitation. A pleasure being here. All right, Paolo. So we have a great topic today. So we'll talk about uh, financial inclusion and what Mo Technologies is doing to to make that happen. Um, before, we, but before we get started with that, um, Paolo, we at Mission Matters we amplify stories for entrepreneurs, executives, and experts. So that's our mission here. Um, Paolo, what mission matters to you? To me, it matters a lot using technology for improving the lives of people. So I'm a firm believer that, um, you know, as an entrepreneur uh, and as a, as a, a techie, um, using these uh, capabilities to make an impact on people's lives and making the world a better place. So I'm a big believer that um, you can combine the two. You can combine the good business with uh, with uh, you know, making a positive impact in the world and uh, and on people, so that matters a lot to me. Man, that's awesome. L- love bringing mission based entrepreneurs and businesses um on the show. Um, and so just to get us started, Paolo, um, what do you think is the biggest barrier to credit for consumers and small businesses in Latin America? Well, I mean, one of the biggest barriers. Uh, to access to formal credit is um, is the lack of a presence on a credit bureau, lack of a credit history, and a lack of a formal income. Uh, this actually applies to Latin America, but actually to you know uh, a lot of the the other continents as well. Um, is a, is one of the biggest issues, and the for traditional financial institutions, the struggle to be able to assess the credit worthiness of those people, and as a result, they do not extend credit to those people. And so the alternative, unfortunately, for consumers, small businesses, is number one, not having uh, the opportunity to access credit, and therefore is uh, hinging on the opportunity of uh, personal development or business development. Or the second one is that they have to find uh, alternative and informal uh, lenders, and it means that normally, you know, loan sharks, you know, huge interest rates that uh, rather than helping these people, uh, you know, developing uh, something good and stuff, uh, actually destroying the, the small business because uh, all the income gets eaten up by these, you know, crazy interest that are paying. So it's a, it's a really a major financial and, and social uh, issue, access to credit. Mm. Um, that, that's a big deal. And so what is Mo's role in enabling financial inclusion? So when we started Mo, you know, five years ago, the, the idea and the dream at the time was uh, to be able to help and making an impact on, uh, on billions of people's lives by giving them an opportunity to access as more credit independently from their credit history or for the lack of a formal income. So the, the point was, uh, can we find a different way to evaluate people 
and to the people that really need to access a credit and they are willing to pay this credit but don't have the, you know, the formalities to access a traditional credit, giving them an opportunity. And so uh, more we started in that way and we created technology. So we using machine learning and artificial intelligence and attendant variables, we managed to develop a portfolio of, uh, of uh, IPR that now helps financial institutions, service companies, and other fintechs extending credit to these people that don't fit the traditional model. So we are an enabler for financial inclusion. We were born focusing on this mission and, uh, and today we are the leader in, uh, in this field. Man, that's exciting and, um, and it's needed. And I can see like how, um, you know, over time, this is going to, this is going to open up opportunity to just so many people that otherwise would not have um, that opportunity or access to credit. So I have to ask, uh, do you, where do you think the innovation in the financial industry is going to come from, like going forward? So I mean, I see it as, um, you know, a combination of maybe, I don't know, fintech, financial institutions, um, organizations like yours, like Mo Technologies. I mean, tell me a little bit more about how you see innovation, um, going forward. No, absolutely. Um, I think this is a, a, a very, you know, uh, very good question and important point. Um, in most of the industries, uh, innovation came from disruptors, you know? So companies came in and changed the business model and, you know, the others were left behind. I think in the financial industry, it is different. Um, I think in the financial industry, the model they will come out being the winning model, it will be the collaborative model in which innovators, fintech, company like Mo, um, collaborate with the tra traditional uh, institutions, but also with government and regulators to create more opportunities and more products, but still protecting the consumers. I think a key point and a key difference between the financial industry and other industries, you know, you know like transport or, or food or, or et cetera, is that, you know, you need to protect also the consumers, you know, so you need to protect them because you also don't want people to be exposed to, you know, uh, misleading to uh, putting money with, uh, with operators that then uh, are not capable to protect the interest of, uh, of those consumers. So there is, uh, there is a key difference. And the fourth thing, the, the best model is the collaborative model. And also, if you really want to make an impact and make financial inclusion uh, happen in a, you know, in a short uh, time possible, I think you, you have to have this collaboration between government, uh, you know, financial institutions and, uh, and, and fintechs. When we started the company, um, um, you know, we had the opportunity to go as a disruptor and, you know, go on our own and probably make just a very little impact or, or go wide and say, you know, we are developing this technology. We want to give this technology to as many institutions as possible so that they can now reach more customers, they can now really reach all the segments that it was not possible for them to extend credit before in an efficient and profitable way. And, um, and going the direction today, we operate already in nine markets and, uh, and we helped already, you know, hundreds of thousands of consumers and small businesses accessing a credit uh, when before they were always denied the opportunity. So I'm a, I'm a strong believer in the collaborative model, and I think that uh, this is the new ecosystem in the financial sector that uh, hopefully we see the, the, the majority of people uh, start having a, a, an opportunity. Um, if you see the stats in Latin America, you know, that more than, on average, more than 70% of, of the adult population has no access to formal credit and 50% is actually uh, unbanked, you know? But even in the United States, in which we're talking of, you know, probably the, the most, uh, you know, developed economy in the world, you have pockets of financial exclusion. You have family-owned businesses that are treated as consumers. If you have a, a small business, you know, a micro business, so you're part of the big economy, there's no products for you because you only are extended product as a consumer. So you, you end up using your personal credit card 
to finance your business is very inefficient. So even here in the United States, we have a big role in making sure that even those people, uh, you know, the, the small business community can actually have a proper, you know, proper credit uh, that is tailored for, their, for them as a, as, a small, as a small business. And in the same segment, also in the United States, you have a lot of people that are under you now, so there's uh, all the base of the pyramid people that, uh, that have uh, struggled even here to access credit because they don't qualify, you know, because their the FICO score is, uh, is, uh, is very low because they didn't have an opportunity to build uh, a credit before. So we, we are here with our technology to give them uh, an opportunity for this first step into the you know, trading and trading history and then being able to graduate for the traditional product. So Have collaboration. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> now this is awesome. Um, so Paolo, if somebody is, first off, thank you for coming on the show today. I think this has been great. And I mean, I, I love what you're doing over at Mo Technologies. And I think it is gonna, you know, companies like yours are gonna help. Um, financial inclusion increase um, in many different markets. So that being said, Paolo, if somebody is watching this and they want to learn more about Mo Technologies and to connect with the brand and to follow the journey, I mean, what's the best way for them to do that? See, the best way is to connect to us via our, our own website, so they can go on uh, www.wearemo.com. They can find more information about our technology and also a contact form. Uh, we're very happy to, uh, you know, help all type of companies, service companies, other fintechs and financial institutions, um, you know, uh, extending more products to their clients and to new segments. So mm -hmm. it would be a pleasure for the people to come and contact us. Fantastic. Well, Paulo, again, thank you for coming on the show. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. Hope you learned a lot. If you did, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We want you to be a return listener and a return visitor. Um, have many more mission-based entrepreneurs and uh, businesses coming up for you, and we don't want you to miss a thing. And, uh, Paulo, thanks again for coming on the show. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much, Adam. It was a pleasure attending.